Hey guys, we're back. I'm sorry that we're a little late posting this week. Just some things have come up that we've been dealing with and we're ready to fill you in on that. So thanks for being patient with us. Sorry about the delay. Uh, this is probably going to be a bit of a shorter video this week. We just wanted to kind of fill you in. We haven't had much of a chance to film. I'm kind of anticipating that we're going to get some criticism for what we're about to talk about this week. And I just want to let you guys know that we are, we're just trying our best. Um, so please go easy on us. We're just trying to make the best decision we can with the information we have and the situation that we are finding ourselves in. So without further ado, I'm gonna go get Jimmy and we're gonna kind of fill you guys in on what's been happening. Okay. Oh. <sighs> so first things first is we're not gonna be going into too much detail in this video. So we will be having a live stream to kind of talk about the details of what we're about to tell you. Um, and that'll be this Monday. We'll have more details on that at the end of this video. So we're gonna split everything up into two categories. We've got some good news and we've got some bad news. So we're gonna jump right in and talk about the bad news first. So we don't wanna drag this out too long. Um, basically, we're selling the bus. It's, it's not an easy thing to say. Yeah, it, my heart breaks a little bit saying it, but I think this will be for the best. Yeah. But we're still in bad news, so no optimism yet. Yeah, we'll have good news later. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but pretty much the story is, the last you saw of us, we were just coming into the Tetons, and uh, we were about to explore there. And we were actually driving back to our campsite when the engine on the bus cut out. And uh, I kind of had to bring it to the side of the road. Uh, With no power steering. Yeah, so it, it was, was a little scary, but there's no one around. It's a pretty, pretty open campsite. We survived. We survived, <laughs> obviously. I do want to say thank you to Megan and Matt. They were a van couple that we met the night before, and uh, we kind of ruined their next day because they spent the better half of the entire morning trying to help us out. They drove me into town um, to get some parts, and we tried to fix it on the side of the road. Matt even got like in his coveralls. Like they were really doing everything they could. They really were. So thank you guys. I know we kind of ruined your stay there, but thank you for trying. <laughs> Uh, but basically, the story kind of ends with us getting a tow uh, into the nearest town. Which was in another state. It was, yeah, it was in Idaho. And um, so we found a good mechanic shop and they were able to help us out. In the end, it was an issue with our uh, uh, injector, our harness, harness for the injector, um, that they were able to fix and resolve and now the bus starts great. And so, long story short, the bus is fixed. And this is kind of weird timing considering if you watched our last video we went over the Teton Pass which was like a five mile stretch of really steep mountain roads and what actually caused us to break down had absolutely nothing to do with that particular drive. It was just really bad timing and uh, that coincidence that this is happening right after that video. Yeah, but while we were at the mechanic we did get them to check on our brakes and they said that they look perfectly fine. They're totally okay, no damage was done. so. The brakes are okay, that wasn't what happened. It's just kind of odd that this happened right after. Yeah, and uh, speaking of that video, um, we we got hundreds of comments uh, discussing about downshifting on such a large hill. And uh, I just wanna set everyone's mind at ease. Uh, we were, we were, you know, we were downshifting uh, at second and first gear uh, at, you know, at two different points. You just. If you're t driving something that is 15,000 pounds down a 10% incline, you're gonna have a little trouble keeping it slow. Like, the, the real mistake with that video that we were making was we should have taken an alternate route. There was a much easier route to the south. That was the real mistake, but... Yeah, I think they just got a little hot and just a little smoky, but, you know, that happens. So, the town that we had to get towed into was a three-hour drive away. So that was a pretty expensive tow, and then with the mechanic bill added on top of that, we are out of our bus budget. So we ran out of money for basically what is our emergency fund dedicated just to the bus. So that is gone. But let's explain the budget for a second. When we started a year ago, we made two budgets basically. One was our bus budget as we've been calling it, and then the other one was our living expenses. Uh, just to be clear, our living expenses budget is okay. You don't need to worry about us. Uh, that's all, everything from food to gas to, you know, emergency hotel rooms if we need to. And then once we started building out the bus, we used um, a portion, a good portion of that bus budget to actually do the conversion, which was the plan. 
and then the amount left over was the emergency fund for the bus. And uh, just a reminder to anyone that doesn't know, Natalie and I are not professional mechanics, and we don't try to fool ourselves into thinking we are. And so we try to work on everything on the bus that we can and that we feel comfortable with, but there's always going to be big things that we don't feel comfortable with. And that's why we built up that bus emergency fund. So over the year, we have just been using that bus budget to do these upgrades and maintenance. And now that budget is uh, pretty much depleted, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but basically what it was is we drew a line in the sand of how much we were going to invest in this bus and we've reached that line and the responsible decision for us right now is to sell it and kind of reconsider and figure out what we need to do next. We just we don't want you guys to worry about us and we kind of wanted to explain where we're coming from when we say we're out of money. We we're hoping to at least make it to Banff, Canada before we ended up selling the bus um, but we're not gonna make it to Canada quite yet we're just gonna have to put it on hold. Yeah, we're still we definitely can... going. Yes. Just might just have to wait a little bit. Yeah, our bucket list is not changing. So since we were thinking about selling it, we went ahead and asked uh, the guys that we had fixed the bus, give us a clean bill of health, uh, which we're not gonna talk about now, but uh, if you're interested, again, we'll have the live stream on Monday and we'll go into way more detail then. So, you know, join us for that. <laughs> so as of right now, it's got a clean bill of health. I feel really good about it. It's just our bus budget fund has depleted. Yeah. Uh, and with that, it brings us into the good news. All right. Who gets to say it? <laughs> uh, you said the last one. That was bad news. That's, That's not true. fun to say. You can say the good news. You, I can? Yeah, yeah, you can say it. You're nice. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, please be nice to us in the comments. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're going to buy a van. Which I know sounds crazy based off of what you, we just told you. But uh, let us explain. So going back to the budget scenario again, right? We've got our two pools, we've got the bus budget that's been depleted, and then we've got our living expenses. Our plan is, is that when we sell the bus, we can replenish the bus conversion budget. And uh, we just have to decide what we want to do with it. We talked a lot about what we should do. We even thought about overseas travel, which we're, you know, maybe in the future. Definitely uh, in the future. Yeah, she really wants to do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, like Natalie said, I think we're going to use the money and do a van conversion instead. And we're going to build it out totally ourselves. I think our first conversion turned out really great, so we're excited to do it again and see what we can come up with in an even smaller space. When we decided to buy the bus initially, we were a little torn between getting a bus or a van, and we decided on a short bus because it was kind of a middle ground in terms of the amount of living space. And this was our first experience living on the road. We really wanted to give it a good fair shot and make sure that we liked the lifestyle before we tried to do it in a more extreme manner of living in a small van. So I think we can handle it. Um, yeah, needless to say, we love the lifestyle. We're never not going to do this. Yeah. And so we're just going to do it differently this time. Yeah, and I think we can go a little smaller. And I think yeah. that'll be fun. That'll pose new challenges, um, new capabilities. We'll be a little bit more mobile, I bet. Um, <laughs> Although, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I think this is going to be really fun. This just feels like the right thing. Even though my heart breaks a little bit at thinking of parting with Sawaro, I think she's ready for her next adventure and a new owner. I think she's easily got another 100,000 miles in her. And I, I whoever buys her is going to have a really nice uh, adventure, I think. I think it's just the responsible decision for us to kind of replenish our funds and try to build something and spend a little less money and so i'm excited since we have the experience now of like just we're pros yeah we're pros we right? did it once right it we're once. pros so i'd love to see how well we can do it this time and like how cheap we can do it like in a good way uh so we'll see i mean you know we got a lot of talking to do but that's really our plan for now and that's kind of how we're going to move forward so the bus is currently listed for sale so if anyone's interested we do have the link in our description and you can dm us if you're interested we're going to continue making videos, it's just going to transition to uh, focusing on our build for a little while and getting that up and running, so we're excited to do that again. I think we can do the videos a little better than our last build. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully we've learned a thing or two. <laughs> it's hard to go back and watch some of those old build videos. Yeah. So hopefully we'll do it better this time and, uh, and we'll do it faster, more efficiently. Yeah, we will not be spending six months building out this van. There is no way. No way. 
But yeah, before we wrap it up, we do want to say a very genuine thank you to everyone that has been watching us, either if you've been watching for a week or since the very beginning. All of you have given us such an amazing community to share this journey with, and we're just so appreciative. And the support that we get from you guys in the comments and the, the messages that we receive from you guys is what's given us the confidence to make this decision because it's not been an easy decision whatsoever. We've been kind of dwelling on this for the past uh, week or two. And um, yeah, it's not an easy thing to come to and it's a hard thing to, to tell people um, because we just, we just love the bus so much, we don't want to give it up. You know, again, thank you so much for everyone that's been watching. We really, really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you guys. If, like, I, like we did say, we are doing okay financially. We have money to eat, we got money, we can get a hotel if we need to, we're fine. If you do want to contribute, we have a PayPal and a Cash App, and links are in the description for that. We also have a Patreon where we supply some extra bonus content, and I think that we have a really fun community built over there where we do like a monthly live stream. So if you want to do that or if you feel compelled, um, those are available options to you, but there is no pressure from us. Um, we're doing okay. Thank you so much for your support. Just watching the videos is honestly the best thing you could do, so thank you. And yeah, just a reminder, one last time, we're going to have a live stream this Monday, probably at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, make sure your notifications are on so that you can see when we post about that. And we hope to see you there. Yeah, that'll be fun. So thanks so much for watching. Bye.